Thank you, Larry. That was a great performance. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's living good and living healthy. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Rothanak Chance to Rap. Or you can just call me Roth or RCS to be short. I was born in the United States and I have lived all 26 years of my life here in Lowell. My parents came to America escaping the Cambodian genocide. They wanted a better way of living and they wanted to make sure that their future kids won't have to go through what they went through. And I was living in an environment full of hate and fear. Every day, I'm learning more and more about myself, more about my Asian roots, my culture, and my history. And I have to say, I am very proud to be Asian. And this, this just might be my opinion, but I think we got the best food on the planet. But for real though, it angers me and it pisses me off to see what has been going on in the Asian community. From the East Coast to the West, we see it all over social media. Asian people are getting bullied, picked on, jumped, and getting harassed. We can't just ignore it, live our lives, and act like nothing is happening. We need to speak on it, and we need to call it for what it is, racism. And racism is a public health crisis. A fun fact about the city of Lowell, we have one of the largest populations of Southeast Asians in America. And for the past couple of years, our Asian elders have been harassed and robbed for their money and their jewelry. Right in front of their homes and at our local grocery stores. And that makes me worry about my family, about my parents, my grandmother, and all my aunts and uncles. And the worst part about it is that we have members in our city council that don't want to believe that racism is a public health crisis. We have members in our city council that don't believe that stuff like this is happening in our city. We need to change that. We need more members in our city council to represent us. We need more members in our city council that are willing to sit and listen to what we have to say. We need more members in our city council that are willing to speak up for us at times like this. And the way to change that is through voting. So I want to motivate everyone here to get involved with your future city council election. I want you to pay attention to who's running and I want you to vote for who you think is best to represent us. For those of you that are living in Lowell, if you're not registered to vote, do not be afraid and don't panic. Thanks to the great organization of CMAA, we have a table set up over here that can help get you started and registered. So please, don't be shy and don't be scared. Step on up and make a difference. Because your vote matters. Racism has been around for centuries and it will still be here in the future. But we have the power to stop it from spreading and getting bigger. The things that we do now will not change the world tomorrow or even next week. But it will pave the way for a better future. And I believe the main key to a better future is to get to our children and the youth. For a grown adult to see no wrong in a horrible situation, it will be impossible to change their mind. Because to them, they just believe that this is how the world is and there's nothing we can do to change it. But with children, it's different. They are still in their development stage, meaning every day as they grow, they are learning. Their minds are learning and open to new things. And most of the things that they learn is from the adults that are around them. I'm not just talking about their parents, I'm talking about their teachers, their coaches, the police officers in our community, or just any adult in their lives. So I want to encourage everyone here to be the best that we can be. We need to be great role models for the next generation. We need to teach our children to respect others the way they want to be respected. We need to teach our children to care for one another. And most importantly, we need to show our children that there's a lot of love more than hate in this world. So before I pass the mic, I would like to say one more thing. I want to remind everyone out here that you have a voice and you deserve to be heard. You also have a platform. So if you see any hate going on, do not be afraid to speak up about it. Because we are all here to support one another. Now take a moment and look around you. Look at the people standing in front of you. Look at the people standing behind you. And look at the person standing right by your side. We came here today to show that we can come together as one. 
So please, let's spread love. Let's be the best that we can be. Let's get out, get out here and vote. And let's put an end to racism. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Rock.